my name is Corian. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2023 Sabre 37 FLH. This is a beautiful front living room design. It's great for couples or solo campers. This front living room area is great for entertaining. You've got two trifold sofas that will pull out into full size beds as well as theater seating with heat, massage, and blue LED lighting. They also fully recline. You've got a nice big TV here behind me. The accent lighting up above. It's great for movie nights. You've got a fireplace down below that'll pump out electric heat like a little space heater. Lots of storage that's built in, USB ports, power. And then you also have lots of windows as well. There's windows all along these front living room slides. You have the zebra shades where you can black out the light or you can really adjust these to in as much or as little as needed. And then the last thing up here that you'll notice is the AC unit. This is a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. We always include two, so you've got 30,000 BTUs of air conditioning. If you're going down to Texas or Arizona, it's gonna keep up with the heat great for you. Then we'll move things down below. Right off the entry door before you get into the kitchen, you'll see the control panel cluster. In the middle is the Lippert One control system. So this will control your lights, slides, awning, as well as your auto leveling. Then there's a smartphone app you can connect to that does all of the above, as well as connects to your backup camera so you can get a visual feed of what's going on behind the trailer on your smartphone. Then you have this thermostat here. It has two thermostats for two zones of cooling. So each of these controls one of the AC units. Your voltage meter that's included with the juice pack. The juice pack is a 100 watt solar panel that's roof mounted. You get a voltage meter on the inside as well as the outside. That also acts as a 30 amp charge controller so you can expand those 100 watts up to 500 if needed. And then lastly, we also include a lead acid battery from the factory as well and space for another if you were to add it. Then you've just got a couple light switches and a switch for your water heater. So now we're down in the kitchen. You've got this breakfast hutch here, some solid surface countertop. This is an acrylic material, so it's heat resistant. Scratches will buff out nicely. This little breakfast hutch in general is great for crock pots, maybe a coffee maker over here, just some extra countertop space. You've got plenty of extra storage built in, bonus pantry, nice big refrigerator. So that's a 16 cubic foot Everchill refrigerator that runs off a of 12 volt. It's very power efficient, only draws about 3.5 amps per hour. You got two fridge doors, two freezer drawers. Then inside it is a 30 inch microwave, very big for those big plates. You've got a three burner stove with an oven, lots of extra storage that's built in as well. There's a full island. So you've got a deep farm style sink in this island with a detachable faucet. There's also storage built into the island as well. Behind me is a full length pantry. So you've got lots of room in there. You got motion sensor lighting. So at nighttime, you can still see what you're getting at. Then behind me is going to be a half bath. This is fantastic for guests. Behind me is the master bedroom with the bathroom in the rear. So if you were to have people sleeping up front or you don't want people going through your private space, you can just run them in here to use the restroom quickly. Then you can just close it up, get it out of sight, out of mind. In the corner here is an extra, extra pantry. So you've got a little space down below, space up above. You've got a catch-all area for keys, wallet, phones, charge them up there. And then lastly, you've got the dinette. You've got a booth on one side, two table and chairs. All of them have extra storage built into them. And then we'll move things to the master suite. So here in the master suite, before we get to the bathroom, is a full king size bed. It's supported by struts underneath if you're ever to want to get to that storage. Then you have clothes storage as well on the other side here. Space to hang some shirts. You've got some drawers for socks, underwear, those sort of things. And then we'll move things back into the beautiful bathroom. Here in the master bathroom, you've got a his and her sink. But not only with the his and her sink, you've got tons of countertop space. Usually you would sacrifice some countertop space, but we build in lots extra so you can still have both those sinks and plenty of room. You also have medicine cabinets that flank the entire wall here, as well as a window to lend some natural light. Porcelain toilet that can handle some more aggressive chemicals or cleaners. Here in the shower, it's very large in here. This bathroom is actually positioned in the rear of the fifth wheel, so you'll see you've got tons of head height space here. You've got the skylight to let in some natural light. You've got a seat in the shower, and then I'll step out and show you the washer dryer prep or storage area. So this area right now is equipped for clothes. There's a hanging rod up across the top if you wanted to do shirts, but there's also plumbing in there if you wanted to add a stackable washer dryer system down the road, it's very easy. So starting things off on the exterior of the 37 FLH, the front storage compartment, you've got the spare tire housed in there. You've got a lead acid battery that's included from the factory as well as space to add another if you'd like. Battery disconnects in there. When it's in the off position, your solar panel will be trickle charging and maintaining that battery. You also have 
a voltage meter that doubles as a 30 amp charge controller. So that'll let you expand up to that 500 watts if you want to upgrade on the solar system that's included. The polar bear sticker down below, that's a very important feature, the polar shield. It's a fully enclosed underbelly that's thermofoil wrapped, fully insulated, and we also run furnace ducting over the holding tanks that blows hot air into the underbelly. Your front cap and your roof are also fully insulated and thermofoil wrapped. If you plan on camping down to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 6 Celsius, that's where we would recommend skirting the underbelly, taking extra precautions so your pipes don't freeze. And then the two little legs sticking down, that's a part of the auto leveling system. It's a four point electric auto leveling system with hitch height memory, so it's going to remember where the bed of your truck was last at when you set up your campsite. Then one more thing on the polar package is going to be the sidewalls and your slide box. It's a true two inch thick wall, two inch thick slide box that's fully vacuum bonded. It's going to last a very long time and give you good insulation value. One more thing on the slide out, you'll see that this slide system is an electric Schwintech system. And all of our major slides are going to be a through frame rack and pinion slide. We never use any cable slides on the Sabre product. Then down below this slide is going to be your front storage compartment. It's nice and wide so you can still put a picnic table, lawn chairs, things like that into there. There's LED lighting to illuminate it at nighttime. You have 110 power, cable hookups, as well as a hole routed through the floor so you can put a larger television on the exterior of the trailer. Then it'll move along near the Moride steps is your friction hinge door. So this is an all black glass door. It's going to help alleviate some of that sunlight, give you a little more privacy. We also do the solar reflective windows now. So on the inside, you can still see out, but on the outside, it's going to look like a mirror and reflect some of that UV light, keep it much cooler, darker on the inside, and gives you that privacy that a tinted window would. Okay. Just below that door is our Moride stable steps. It's very sturdy getting up and in, as well as comes just right up and inside the trailer. It has push pins on the feet, so you can easily adjust those depending on what kind of terrain you're on. There's pull pins beneath the threshold that you can remove if you were to get these steps out of the way for maybe a permanent site deck that's set up or if it's too close to something. You have LED lights built into the threshold as well as the awning. So when the awning light turns on, that light illuminates as well, illuminating the steps, giving you extra safety at nighttime. Here towards the rear of the trailer, right before we get to the outdoor kitchen, a couple things on the tires. You've got tire pressure monitoring system. It's a visual check. So green is 80 PSI. Yellow, you're getting low. Red, you really need to inflate those tires. 7,000 pound axles across the board on all the Sabre product is gonna give you much more cargo carrying capacity that you're typically used to seeing on fifth wheels. Above the tires, you have the outdoor kitchen. You have a nice big fridge. This is a 110 electric fridge, unlike the 12 volt one on the inside. So that one runs straight to the batteries. This one, you're gonna to wanna to be hooked up to shoreline power. You do have a sink that's plumbed in here as well a little bit of storage, and an LED light to illuminate things at nighttime. Now we'll take things onto the back. On the rear of the 37 FLH, you've got a two inch hitch receiver. It can handle 300 pounds of vertical weight. So bike rack, firewood, small generator, those sort of things work great back here. Up above is gonna be your backup camera that's pre-included from Lippert. That's gonna to connect to the LCI One Control app on your smartphone. So you'll get a visual feed of what's going on behind the trailer on your smartphone device. Then we'll move things around to the all-in-one docking station. Right beside the all-in-one docking station, you have the new Furion tankless water heater. This is an instant on-demand system. It's much more power efficient than a traditional water heater. It uses much less LP gas, and you can take rapid succession showers back to back and not run out of hot water. Then you have your all-in-one docking station, black tank flush, your water connections, your cable hookups, all that is inside here, easy to get to. There's also an outside shower metal enclosure, if there are ever any splashback, it's gonna protect your subfloor. And then you've just got a little bit of extra access to that front storage compartment up here as well. So that'll wrap things up with the Sabre 37 FLH. Like I said, this is a fantastic model for not only couples, but solo campers looking for a little extra separation of your living spaces. If you'd like to learn any more information about this model or find a dealer near you, you can visit our website at forestriverinc.com Sabre. Thank you.